the Siren Head, posted by you slash Darth Kev 696. Just imagine you're living in a rural town that was evacuated days ago due to reasons you aren't yet aware of. You ride your bike to a nearby gas station, trying to take advantage of the absence of people. It's 1am and the stars aren't even visible because of light pollution. Everything around you is still and silent, as if time itself had stopped. No crickets chirping, no birds whistling, no cars driving. You arrive at the gas station after a 12 minute bike ride, and it's conveniently, but unsettlingly, empty. Despite intending to take everything you could, you are kind of hoping to find someone behind the register. Someone to talk to. You grab everything you can and stuff it into your pockets and backpack. You exit the station and suddenly hear the faint sound of a siren. You freeze. You calm yourself saying, It's just the evacuation siren again. But you know it can't be because the siren it would be coming from is on a pole right in front of you. To your relief and dismay, the siren abruptly stops, leaving you in total silence. You begin riding back home. Six minutes into the ride back, siren sound once again returns, only this time much, much louder. The shock of the noise freezes you in your tracks. You fall off of your bike, frozen with shock. You hate the fact that you react this way. You always imagined yourself running when in uncertain or terrifying circumstances. But alas, you freeze there. You hear treetops rustling like bushes, twigs and branches, snapping violently off of them. Finally, you snap out of it and begin running home, the siren getting deafeningly louder with each passing second. Your heart is hastily pounding against the walls of your chest. You don't even know what the hell you're running from. You sprint past an abandoned car, and in the faint reflection, in its dusty, shattered side view mirror, you see it. An unimaginably tall being, with mummy-like skin, small veins poking throughout. It smells like death. It's covered in flies. It has two sirens in place of a head. You yell every expletive you know. You run faster. All you can hear is its blaring sirens and the ringing of your ears. You're running at your fastest achievable speed, but every step it takes is equivalent to 10 for you. It reaches forward and grabs you by the neck with its cold, flaky hands. And you scream into the starless, unforgiving night. It lifts you up to one of its sirens. It's full of dull, crimson-stained teeth. You try to let out one last scream, but it tightens its grip. You close your eyes and feel the worst pain and anger you've ever experienced. Then, nothing.